Hello, my name is uh, Mark with Lindale Plant Services. Uh, here today to uh, do a demonstration on plant names, plant uh, uh, varieties, and uh, uh, that kind of thing. Uh, Lee here is our knowledgeable <laughs> plant technician. Hi. She knows all the names of the different plants and uh, how to care for them and what they need for light and that kind of thing. And she's going to do a little description on them. Hi, I'm going to start with the spathophyllum here. Most folks would know this as a peace lily. It's a very common plant. You can find it most places. Um, the name spathophyllum actually describes what this is right here, which is the spath of the plant. The flower is that little white thing on the inside. These things like a medium bright light. They like to be kept evenly moist. If they ever dry out, this particular plant, the peace lily, can just crash totally just drop, look like it's dead, in which case the thorough watering will help bring it back to a uh, nice condition like this. Very common plant, easy to care for. This next one you might have to look a little harder for. This is a Maranta. It's a plant that's been around a long time. It sits on a, can be a little plant on a shelf, or as you can see, this guy here is already trying to start to trail. You could put this in a hanging basket it does well in fluorescent light. If you're in an office, it would be a great plant. They like the bright light. The common name for this is prayer plant because at night the leaves fold up like praying hands. Another common name is rabbit track plant because of the venation on the leaves. Again, you might have to look a little harder for this one. A nice flower shop garden center should have something like this. Real easy to care for. Again, a very simple plant. This is a Drusena. There are many kinds of Drusenas. This is a marginata called tricolor. It has three various shades in it, the pink, a little bit of white, and green. The way they plant these is they actually just take cuttings and stick them in the pot. So sometimes they will grow them where they're at various levels, and that would have to be done at the propagation time. Uh, this is a plant that if you can't remember to water your plant more than maybe once every 10 days, you should give this guy a try because they like to be on the drier side. Very easy, pest free, not too much bothers this plant. That's a marginata tricolor. This guy, who is in need of a pot, repotting, is called a ZZ plant, which is Zandadisha zamifolia. It's a succulent plant, as you can see by the big glossy leaves on it. And actually, if I'm going to turn it around, you can see how the roots are looking to be transplanted out of here. It's got great big bulbous roots. This plant, again, being succulent, likes to dry down a little bit before you um, rewater it. Overwatering can cause it to rot, but otherwise, it's a very carefree little plant. Very cool, very, very glossy. Philodendrons, most people have heard of philodendrons. This is a cultivar called Black Knight. Again, it's very glossy. This plant likes a little bit less light than some of them. It can burn, get a little tip burn if it's in too much sun. If you do have a real sunny area that you want to put this in, got your heart set on that nice coloration, just make sure you don't ever let it dry down. Water it thoroughly each and every time. Very nice glossy plant. One more. One more. This plant is a ficus elastica, also known as the rubber plant. This color may seem surprising to you. This is again called a tricolor. It's just a color variation. The cool thing about rubber plants and the reason they got their name is if you break a piece off, you're going to get a white latexy kind of goo coming out of it, which is actually, you could roll it up like a little rubber ball. This plant needs bright light, needs adequate water, and you'll get a nice full, full rounded plant like that. And all these wonderful plants are uh, done by Lindale Plant Services and uh, we uh, provide our services to all these different types of plants in our commercial accounts. Hmm.